I think one of the concepts that comes out of the book quite strongly and certainly um, resonated with me really strongly was the idea that the personal is international, oh. the international is personal. What, what do you mean by it? Well, of course, it is a play on the second wave, um, well, we now say slogan. It's really a theory, right? You know what? A theory as a bumper sticker, right? Um, and any good theory should be able to be turned into a bumper sticker, right? If you can't get down a bumper sticker, you haven't figured out your theory. <laughs> and and, and that, the second wave theoretical assertion, explanatory assertion was that the personal is political, which of course is very disturbing. I mean, it's one of the most disturbing discoveries of the second wave feminists in any country, which is that your personal life is infused with power. That's very upsetting. It should be upsetting, right? But it really was the revelation that many women who became what we now call the second wave came to. And I grew up, I came of age as a feminist um, during the second wave. And so I had taken that on board. And having, it's very hard to write conclusions because by the time you get to the last chapter, honestly, you think, well, if they haven't gotten it by now, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, any of you who write conclusions to anything, don't you think, especially you're worried somebody will just read the conclusion, <laughs> right? But so, but by the, so I can remember I was, okay, this is, you know, tell all. I was on a treadmill <laughs> at my gym working out and I was coming to the, what had to be the conclusion of the first edition of Bananas, Beaches and Bases. And I thought, so? Because really, I thought, I want them just to read about women banana workers. I want them to read about women as diplomatic wives. I don't want them to read my blah blah at the end. But I, I was on the treadmill and all of a sudden it really came to me that one of the things that is least recognized and that I certainly discovered, meaning I didn't know, in international politics is that the politicization of personal life, what sometimes is called domestic life, is sometimes called personal life, that the politicization of domestic, personal, private life is a pillar that holds up the international system. That's my argument. Right? And that, of course, was not something that I was ever taught. It was not something that I knew. I'd begun to figure it out when I'd begun to look at military wives trying to understand militaries. And that's the book that came before this, a book called Does Khaki Become You? that now has morphed into a book called Maneuvers. For the first time ever, I thought, if I don't understand the marriages of male soldiers with women who are civilians but are imagined by their country's militaries as military wives, if I don't understand them, I don't understand militaries. And that's the understanding I brought to this. So that the, there are two parts to it. The, the personal is international. Now, that can be kind of used as a bit of a whip to say to women, your lives are international, how come you don't know more about the Syrian war? Your lives are international, how come you don't know more about the workings of neoliberal capitalism? How come, how come? Get with it women, get with it girls, learn more about foreign policy. That's the personal is international. What I really am arguing is that the international is personal. And that's different. That's saying you want to, you, I, we want to make sense of the Syrian war, then watch women as refugees. Watch women as civil society activists in homes. Watch them in Aleppo, right? That's really different because that's saying you think you know a lot about international politics because you know the throw weight of certain weapon, of certain missiles? 
You don't really understand international politics if you don't understand how marriage works internationally or how ideas about femininity are a pillar holding up the international global economic system. And that's a very different argument. So of the two, the personal is international. It's the international is personal that really is my kind of hopefully most upsetting kind of finding.